Hey, come on, wake up! Uh, wake up! Uh, oh, thank God you're all right. Ah! I, God, my leg is jammed. It's jammed in here. Here, let me help. That's broken. Got stuck under the bloody runner pedal. Are you sure? Ah, uh, uh, see if there's a first aid kit around, will you? Should be behind my seat. There's got to be something. Sounds painful. Ah, oh, that's better. Ah, it's not gonna last forever, though. Ah, where are we? Hopefully not out of range of the radio masts. Ah. Mayday, mayday. This is Alpha Romeo Lima. Crashed south of Deception. Ah, coordinates roughly 82 south, 19 west. Come on. Hello, Faraday. Do you read? Nothing. Do you think you can move? Well, that's your lot. Uh, puts pay to flying out of here. I'm good for nothing like this. Not in this weather either. Yeah, that too. At least I saved the plane. Hey, 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 see that up there? We were about to fly over one of the British outposts at Deception Point. That should be it there. Maybe they've got a doctor. Uh, yeah, uh, I think I can see it. So, can you make it? Make it? It's, it's freezing out there. We'd rather stay in this tin can and we both freeze to death. Uh, we, 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 we could wait. Oh, come on, mate. Your very godmother's not gonna magically appear. Nobody knows we're here. Oh, come on, mate. I've done my best to get us down in one piece. Time to be a man, eh? How far away do you think it is? Could be five, ten miles. Can you make it? We don't really have a choice, do we? Yeah. Good man. How will I find my way back? Uh, uh, there might be something here. I uh, keep a box for emergencies. I think this qualifies. Yeah. <coughs> Flares. You keep an eye out. I'll open this window and send one up on the hour. I'll help you get your bearings. Hey! Hey, you here? I'm here. I'm here. Just don't lose yourself out there, okay? Just keep straight. I'll be back as soon as I can. You just mind that leg. Yeah, thanks. Hey, you watch out, okay? It's ten below zero. <laughs> Wish me luck. Yeah. Best of British luck.
Oh, here, let me help. Oh, I think I can manage. No, honestly, it's fine. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Not as easy as it looks. Oh, dear. Let me give you a hand. Oh, no, no, no. I, I can do it. Um... It's easier with both of us, don't you think? All right. Um, on three. One, two, three. That's my fault. There's too many books. Oh, oh. That's what's in here. Oh. Well, uh, there you go. Teamwork. <laughs> Not a problem at all. Thank you. Right, um, I'll, I'll leave you to it. Oh, do you join me? Well, I don't think you'd have much luck finding another free carriage. Uh, all right, thank you. Your work? My students. They haven't learned the art of editing just yet. Still, someone's got to mark it. You're... you're marking all of that? I'm trying to. I can't complain. When I was a student, my professor said to me, you don't expect me to mark all that, do you? So I won't complain now they're handing me all this. Well, um... Feel free to complain to me if it helps. <laughs> it might, thank you. Uh, long journey? Yes, all the way from Edinburgh. Where are you headed? Cambridge. And you are too, I can see that. It's, it, it's the tie, isn't it? <laughs> it's not that. I prefer Priestley's ideas about weather patterns, personally. I beg your pardon? Your book. It fell out onto the seat. Oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> Would you mind if I take a look? Oh, yes. <clears throat> Formulation of complex cloud patterns. G.B. McNeil. I found it rather heavy going myself. You've... you've read it? I had to set this one for my undergraduates. Not that any of them probably read the bloody thing. The fact that you've got it on you makes me think you're not a student. You're lecturing too, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Likewise. Uh, how long have you been here? It'll be my second year. Got... Dr. Hamilton. Clara McCarrick. How do you do, Doctor? Oh, you're a bookmark. Oh, oh, uh, don't worry, it's just a just a telegram. Oh, you're a your telegram. It's Sorry. Nothing. It's nothing. Just something from my professor. Sorry, I wasn't supposed to see that, was I? It's completely fine, really. Professors do love a telegram, don't they? Your sounds just like my old one. My office, we need to talk about your work. It's like we're still at school. I'm sure you're not really in trouble. It's mad, isn't it? All these old men having a final say over our future, deciding whether our work's good enough. How it all rests on that one final paper we need just to get anywhere. I know. I, I know. I wish they'd actually come and see me teaching. I, I don't know why they don't. I'd love to go and see other lecturers if I were them. I should do it more often. Uh, you'd be welcome to come to mine. Oh, thank you. Uh, if there's space, perhaps. How many students make it to them? Oh, uh, hundreds. That's a lot of undergraduates. Well, um, maybe you'll see for yourself. Maybe I will. Oh, oh there's a red light up ahead. I suppose I can get a little more work done. Um, let me know when we're coming up to the bright lights of Cambridge, won't you?
So, do come and see me if you have any questions on the lecture. One or two would be nice. You can leave if you like. It's over. Ort, do you have a question? I do, in fact. Uh, yes? Are we allowed to visit other people's lectures? Oh, oh, it's you. Um, I, I didn't see you up there. You decided to come. I did. Uh, liked it? I didn't think you were too bad. Huh. Well, um, I'm glad you thought so. The others don't seem to care so much. Make a run for it as soon as they can. Well, they're a loss. I wouldn't worry. People all seem a bit jumpy at the moment. I found it fascinating. Finding a way to trace the paths of all the world's clouds across the sky. It, it is fascinating, you're right. It's quite poetic, I thought. I can get a bit carried away sometimes. In, in theory, it, it's great. It's, um... Just need to prove it's possible. It's, uh... Taking a while. A wonderful subject for your paper, I would have thought. <clears throat> yes, you would have thought. Well, I've had no luck with mine, if it's any consolation. Just getting anything approved is a nightmare. Still, they can't say no once they've found my beautiful subject, like you. It's true, I am a, an excellent subject. <laughs> Hang on, Dr. Hamilton hasn't finished in here yet. Sorry about that, a bit too keen sometimes. Are they all here for your lecture? Yes. You'd be welcome to stay if you like. Oh, uh, well, why, why not? Thank you. Wonderful. I'll just go see to this mob and give you time to gather your papers.
office to see you. You have come at the right time, even the 37 for four. Terrible state of affairs. Anyway, you said you wanted to see me about something, please. Something you wanted to let me know. Hello? Hello, can anyone hear me? Come in. Hello? I said you can come in. Doors open. Peter! Oh, hello there. Sorry. Ah, good to see some work being done. Good show. My goodness, it's gloomy in here. No, do sit down. You got my note, I presume? I did. But I'm sure you've been very busy, which explains why I haven't heard from you. So, seems I have to come and pay you a visit instead. Still plugging away, I see. Mind if I take a look? It's still very much work in progress. <clears throat> and most of them are, are, are just uh, weather readings from my contact in South America. Not much to read yet. You will tell me when you've got something, won't you? As your professor, I do need to be kept abreast of things. Hey, you'll be the first to know, I assure you. I do hope so. Good grief! I'm not surprised you're getting nothing done with all this racket. What is it this time? Well. Uh, more of them today, I see, getting ready for another march, I suppose. I can't quite believe how many women are out there. The more they let in, the less serious studying seems to get done in this place. Not built for academic work, I fear. I really don't see why they want to join this band of Soviet sympathizers. Sounds like a peaceful protest. Not doing anyone any harm. Well, you know what I mean. Anyone who's for nuclear disarmament is anti-British, as far as I can see. I can't stand all this politics in my college. Wanted to talk to you about that, in fact. To me? That's right. Sit down. What worries me is that all that is distracting people from the very good academic work we do here. This is where I really do need your help, Peter. Very happy to help, always. As you know, I have some friends in high places. I need to persuade these people that this college deserves to survive, deserves the reputation we've built over the years. Now, there's a lot of talk suggesting we're a soft touch. <laughs> a breeding ground for communists. I need to show we're serious about what we do, and what I need from you is something publishable. 
Well, I, I hope I can do that. I don't doubt it. Make sure it is good, something first rate. This is a great institution, Peter. I need to prove its worth, and I need you to prove yours too. I will. Of, of course I will. It's been three years now. I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. Not quite. Is this paper really taking up so much of your ample brain power? I mean, your position isn't necessarily permanent. I'm sure you're hoping you don't have to stay in this dark little room forever. And I'm sure you'll rather leave it after a well-deserved promotion. That's all. Oh, uh, one more thing. The atmosphere here, things have been a little fraught. You must have noticed it's not just those protests that I'm concerned about. You know all about the business with the Cambridge Four, I presume. I, I don't, actually. You don't? A Soviet spyry, recruited right here in Cambridge. Passing secrets to the Russians for years, and we knew nothing about it. The papers are having a field day with it. They used to hang for things like this. Well, thank goodness we don't do that anymore. Yes. Yes, we can't stop the world from moving on. They think the Cambridge Four might now be the Cambridge Five. They still don't know who the fifth member is yet. I need to be absolutely sure we are on our guard. So I'd like you to keep an eye out. You would tell me if you saw anything suspicious, wouldn't you? I can trust you on that. I'm, I'm not sure I'll be much use holed up in here, but I'll certainly keep an eye out. Glad to hear it. I'll see myself out. You carry on. Peter here. Peter? Thank God you made it. Are you there? Is there a doctor? Can someone come and pick me up? Floyd, something's not right. I, I think... I think something's happened here. Something's happened? What, what do you mean? Uh, well, there's... There's nobody here. The place is abandoned. Hello? Floyd, it's not just that the place is empty. Ev everyone's things are here. There are just no people. It's like, they it's like they've all vanished. Well, they might be out on some kind of exercise, a research trip, something like that. I'll take them a vehicle and hit it out. No, they didn't take the vehicle that's here. And it doesn't sound right. And wherever they went, they, they went in a hurry. Uh, there's footprints everywhere, and they left a mess in their living quarters. Broken glass, uh, an overturned chair, that sort of thing. Like, like there'd been a fight? What, well, maybe? Or, or maybe there was an emergency, someone got sick or something like that. Oh, listen to me. I don't like the sound of this. I want you to get out of there as quick as you can, you hear me? Out, in, out into that again? No. Where would I go, back to you? No, no, don't come back, Peter. Took you two hours to get there, you come back here and then where are we? Attacked? This is a research station. Who would attack this place? Soviets. Soviets? Here? The Cold War hasn't been so cold around here recently. People are ticky. I've heard stories of shots being fired. You could kill a dozen men down here and no one would know about it. Floyd, you're making me nervous. I've met the guys who work at Deception Point, mate. They run a tight ship. It's not like them to leave it completely deserted without telling anyone. And 
now you're telling me there are signs of a struggle? You can't rule it out. I don't like this. I... I think I should come back. No. No, there's a chance I can raise someone from here, but if you come back and I can't, then we're back at square one. They'd have to have us both on their case. Look, I'll keep trying on the radio. You've got to move on. Get out of there, quickly! What about you? First things first, don't worry about me. You want more help if you keep yourself safe. Oh, you're in the radio hut, right? Anything in there which could help tell where we are? There's a map here. A map? Right. Well, what's on it? I, I can see where I am. The base at Deception Point. Okay, okay, great. Anything more from there? There are more buildings to the north. Do you know what they are? I'm guessing they're not a threat like the Soviets. Don't worry, the Norwegians are allies. They'd help us. Just pray there'll be someone there when you arrive. You mentioned there was a vehicle. Have you got keys? Uh, got them. I've got them. That's something. Let's hope they fill the tank up. Can you see a route on the map? Any landmarks to follow? Um. Up ahead, there's there's some kind of huge rock marked on here. A c cathedral rock. Looks like the highest point around. Maybe I'll be able to see the Norwegian base from there. Sounds like that's your first destination. Peter, can you see anything you can use as a weapon? A weapon? No, no, there's nothing here. Do, do I need one? Don't go searching for one if there's nothing else in there. You don't know when they might come back. Head to that rock as quickly and as quietly as you can, all right? Just make sure you send those flares up so I can find you again. Floyd, are you still there? Uh, uh, sorry, I hit the roof, my leg. Look, don't hang about, Peter. Get going, for Christ's sake. I'll keep broadcasting on this frequency when I can. Try and pick it up again when you get to the base. I will, and, and remember those flares. I heard you. Look, I've got to go. You just get to that cathedral rock. Over and out. Thanks for picking me up like that. I'm absolutely soaked. I must have looked a terrible state. You must be. Don't know what happened. The bus just didn't turn up. Sorry, I think I'm setting on something. Oh, sorry, it's your peepers. Oh, but I haven't got them all wet. Oh. Uh don't, don't worry about it. So this is your grand tome about the clouds. <laughs> Would you mind if I take a look? Of course. I mean, if you can understand. Excuse me? I'm sorry, my goodness. What? Do you have a right to be here? You know, I have earned my place. What are you talking about? 
Look, maybe this is a bad idea. I don't want to read them anyway if you don't think I can understand them. No, 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 no. I, I meant they're probably illegible. I meant you might not be able to read them. That's all. Oh, oh sorry. Just, oh, I get that kind of thing a lot. I'm a bit sensitive. Crosswise. I thought, I thought you'd morphed into my old professor there. My office. See me. Anyway, sorry. As I said, don't worry. Um, <clears throat> take a look if you like. Oh, uh, thank you. I can see you're an excellent note taker. Well, the rest is probably classified, <laughs> top secret. And where is yours, may I ask? May I read that? Stop it. You haven't started it, I know. I will. I haven't had three years. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit low. I'm just a bit tired at the moment. My proposal was rejected again yesterday. It needs more work. You can talk to me, you know. I know what it's like trying to find the right subject. I'm starting to wonder if I'll ever find it. Friend Molly's nearly finished hers, and here I am, not even at the starting line. Well, if you're anything like as successful as you are with your lectures, you'll be fine. Thanks. Doctor. I'll, uh, I'll just put these safe down here. <laughs> Cambridge. Even on a day like this, I do love this journey. In the rain, you mean? Yes. Well, I'm enjoying it too. Picking you up in this mighty steed. <laughs> oh, yes. He needs a big bus when you can have a car like this. Your presence tells me this is obviously better for picking up ladies. Oh, well, you can just about foot one in if that's what you mean. Anyway, this bus will do just fine. Thanks again for getting me out of the rain like that, it was... Don't mention it. No, uh, no it was an inconvenience. It, it won't happen again. program. Here is the news. Talks began today in Washington between Britain, the United States, and Soviet Russia over the renewal of the Antarctic Treaty, which forbids any acts of military aggression in Antarctica. Reports of recent skirmishes on the continent have established the need to reaffirm the worldwide commitment to peace. All eyes will be on Russia, whose reported reluctance to rejoin the talks is a point of concern for the British government. In a statement read outside the White House, Prime Minister Macmillan called on Russia to engage in the talks wholeheartedly to ensure a lasting peace in the nuclear era. six in a row now? I don't know. I counted seven, maybe. It'll never happen again. Oh, wait. Oh, look, there's Molly. Well, I, I, I haven't seen her in ages. I thought she... Can you just pull over and we can say hello?
Moles! Clara! Oh, it's wonderful to see you! Well, you can't miss us all today. <laughs> Is this your handsome bus driver? I didn't call him that. Molly, this is Peter. Peter, this is Molly. I've heard. Heard what? You'll be joining us, I hope. Joining you here outside? On the big march? From Aldermaston, the atomic weapons factory? This time we're all going to start there, then march on London. Straight to Parliament. Tens of thousands of us. They'll have to listen to us this time. Four days walk, isn't that right? Oh, that's a long walk. Worth it to save the world, don't you think? <clears throat> of course. Oh, sorry. Uh, Peter, Molly is a lecturer at the college too, when she's not showing me the ropes or working on her opus. Oh, that's all done now. The paper's published. Oh, that's wonderful. Good, good riddance too. I couldn't bear having it hanging over me any longer. <clears throat> uh, congratulations. Well done. Thank you. I can focus on this for a while. Much more important. Do you think this will make a difference? It jolly well has to, don't you think? Considering what's at stake, we're all under threat. I would have thought as a man of science you'd know all about it. Clara mentioned you'd been studying radiation carried by the clouds. You told her that? Well, I didn't know it was an official secret. No, no, it's, it's not. It's not. That's... it's fine. The radiation is what's terrifying. One hydrogen bomb could kill one million people in an instant. But then the, ra but then the radiation spreads and could kill millions more. Slowly this time. The British government is building more bombs when they should be doing the opposite. D disarming. Setting an example to the world. It must be more complicated than that. Wouldn't the Soviets think we were weak if we did that? We're not naive, you know. We want the three sides to stop entrenching themselves. All this posturing of theirs can only end one way. It's got to be unilateral nuclear disarmament. Otherwise, every day we are one step closer to the end. Oh, I agree, although, with any luck, they'll thrash it out. And what if they don't? Right, uh, I've got a lecture to give. Peter, would you mind if I had a lift for the last mile? Of course not. It was good to meet you, Peter. Good to meet you too. You're coming on the march, aren't you, Clara? I wouldn't miss it for anything. And you, Peter? Wouldn't miss it. And in the meantime, I'm sure Clara will take very good care of you. She will? That's enough, Molly Shanahan. We'll be off now. You go and get your bus, Clara. Ding, ding! <sighs> Impressive, isn't she? No more than you are. gonna say I've got a pretty good idea you need to get out more I have to work oh come on old chap I have to say I've never really understood it here you are writing about clouds and yet you never see the sky what do you know I've got a lot of writing to be getting on with Joe so if you yes. could well let's see some of these words then shall we come on 
man or a mouse. It's not like it's top secret, is it? You can trust me. <sighs> what do you think, Sam? I'm sure some of it is very good. Here. I really have got a lot of work to do. It would seem so. Don't worry, old chap. Well, we'll hit that wall sometimes. It's all part of writing a paper. Oh, now, come on, don't be so modest, Sam. You dashed yours off in a few months. Well, maybe I was fortunate, but the point is... The point is, you set your sights straight and true, sat down and wrote the damn thing. It wasn't quite like that. Well, you did it, and now here you are, senior lecturer. Which makes two of us. Ah... <sighs> Did Joseph not mention he got a promotion too? It does tend to slip his mind for a few seconds occasionally. Well, you know what could be open to him if he gets this right and gets promotion? His own department, eventually. Professorship. You can't reach those heights if you stay in this hovel for the rest of your life. Well, that's true, but I wouldn't My point quite was that saying to Peter it's all part of the process is just kind words. What we need to do is help our poor friend here be a man and write. All right. All right, maybe I could use a little help here and there, but I don't need any pity. Oh, it's not pity. We believe in you. We just don't want to come back and have the same conversation. Just don't start again. That would be a disaster, wouldn't it, Sam? I think he's right, Peter. I know it's tempting to want to forget everything and start again on a blank page, but then you're risking making the same mistakes all over again. You no, know, sometimes it's better to see where you've gone wrong, that's all. That it help you. Good things might come of it. Good things like a promotion, I might add. Like Joseph says, don't start again. <sighs> all right, then. What do you suggest, sir? I know what you need. Go on, then. What? What you need is some inspiration. Those... Three new girls. You know the ones. Undergraduates. They'll be at the Fox and Hounds this evening, and so, my good man, shall we? Eight o'clock. See you there? No, no, I should work. You should come. But if you can't, that's one girl for Sam and two for me. We'll, we'll buy you a pint anyway. See you later, old chap. Good luck with it. We'll see you later. Don't be shy, Peter. Come along. Man or a mouse? Oh, there you are. Seven o'clock, I thought you said. Oh, fashionably late. <laughs> Come sit, I got you some tea. Oh, great idea, thank you. <clears throat> uh, sugar for you? Uh, one, please. Okay. Oh my goodness, you're soaked. Where's your jacket? Oh, uh, well, uh, not on me, of course. Um, mind on other things. The paper, again? Still all-consuming? I can handle it. Oh, I don't blame you. I've been thinking about it quite a bit, too. Uh, you have? About my paper? Yes. To tell you the truth, I'm rather stuck. I gathered. Could you finish it for me, do you think? I thought you could handle it. Uh, I can, I can. It's... Well, it's a, it's a beautiful idea. I think that's why it stuck with me. I know, I know. It, it could be something great. I could. It would be like <laughs> having a superpower, being able to predict the paths of the clouds. <laughs> and next step, control the weather. <laughs> you could be Cloud Man. Are you taking this seriously? <laughs> well, you could predict when it's going to rain, at least. <laughs> this weather reminds me of home. Was it this miserable all the time? Although Edinburgh always looked better in the rain to me, so that's why I choose to remember it. 
That's where you grew up, isn't it? That's right. I had a wee cottage in the Highlands, too. Our parents would take us up there once in a while. Us? Brothers and sisters? One brother. Older. Are you all right? Yes. Sorry. Uh, I, I didn't mean to pry. It's just, um... He was killed in a motorcycle accident near the cottage when he was uh, oh, 18. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. It's life. Or, well, the opposite. <laughs> How old were you when it happened? Uh, 16. But still, I have a lot of happy memories about him. At the cottage, she always used to get up early, go out into the forest, bring back armloads of wood, wood for the fire. It was sweet, really. The house was already warm for us. I like the sound of doing that. I could do that. Grab an axe, go out each morning, chop wood. So you could be the woodsman, then? Oh, better than the cloud man. Stronger. Oh, no, I, I, I like cloud man. So... These clouds, you're a beautiful subject. What do you think you need? Oh, well, that's simple. More readings to work with. Hmm, sounds achievable. Well, in theory, yes, but they need to be first-hand, verifiable. All right. I take it it all has to be taken somewhere where the readings aren't affected by other factors? Hmm, you've got it. The thing is, it needs to be somewhere very remote. And I need to be there for a while, you see, to get enough readings. Mm, that makes sense. And I suppose the university budget doesn't exactly allow you to travel the world. Maybe... What? Well, that cottage I mentioned. It's in the middle of nowhere, a highest place for miles around. And now would be the time to go with summer coming up. All summer free? Well, I'd have to check with my father, but... It's remote, just a little place in the woods with a log fire and not much else. But if that's what you're looking for... I am. That's just the kind of place I've been searching for. Promise me you're serious about this? Oh, I promise you that. Mm, promise me that. Anyway, no more past tense. No more past tense, eh? Hmm. Sorry, I didn't know how I felt about the cottage until I started talking about it. You absolutely should have. It's a, it's a great idea. Mm, I'm full of them today. I think I'd be able to find somewhere else, you know. I must be able to. It's just... I don't know what my father would say about me bringing an unmarried man up there. Well, if you're worried about your father, we don't need to go. No, no, I'm not worried about him. It's just... Not exactly Morden. Not exactly ringing the changes like malls. Now, her father even knows what she's up to. You saw malls on that march, didn't you? Striding forward at the front. Quite the force of nature. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you think the bus will make it there? The bus? That would cost a fortune. Not that bus, silly. You know, your bus. Ding, ding. Oh, oh, the mighty steed, of course. Well, the roads are pretty rough. Would you cope with it? I have absolutely no idea. Oh, careful. We want to make it in one piece. We do. I didn't suggest the route. Just keep driving. I know I know it seems to go on forever. Just trust me. The cottage is only a few miles away now. I'm excited to see it. Mm, me too. I haven't been here in so long. I'm a bit nervous. I don't know. I, I don't quite know if things will feel different coming back. I, I hope you like it. Oh, I, I'm sure I will. And, and thank you for asking your father. I know this is a big thing. <laughs> well, I told him I was taking a friend. I didn't mention you were a man. Oh, uh, do, you, do you think he'd disapprove? 
Not exactly, no. Well, he is very old-fashioned, but... Well, thank you for coming along. Well, in, in, inviting me and coming along. Oh, no. I mean, without me, how'd you find it for a start? I couldn't rightly let you run away all by yourself. So you're running away with me? Stop it. This is purely professional, isn't it? We could run away. Ditch the paper. Live in the woods. You are being presumptuous, aren't you? No, I'm here to help. You'll need help with the equipment and recording all the data, all that. I couldn't leave you stranded up here in the middle of nowhere. I'd build us a shelter, be the man of the woods. Oh, he's back, is he? The woodsman. I'm telling you, I could do that. Just be the kind of man who remembers to fill up the tank when we're off to the middle of nowhere. Well, I am. I hope this isn't a big mistake. the BBC. Here is the news. The talks in Washington over the renewal of the Antarctic Treaty were in deadlock last night, with Soviet Russia threatening to walk out of discussions early. The new president, Lyndon B. Johnson, made an impassioned speech during which he criticized the Soviets' aggressive stance and reasserted the need for compromise. The president described the Russians as playing a lethal hand and asserted that continuing to do so would risk leading the world into war. No one here either. Don't you worry now, Pete. We're here for you. Your father's on his way up. Said he'd like a word too. Such a big boy now. What happened today, it's not your fault. I just want you to know that. These boys, well, I bet they're just trying to make you feel small because they're feeling small inside. Don't you listen to them, all right? 
all right. Here he is. You sleep well. What do you say we carry on with making that rabbit hutch tomorrow, eh? That'd be nice. Still awake? He is. No more tears, eh? No, no, he's he's settled. Go on, it's all right. We'll be fine. Well, if you're sure. Good night, Pete. Night. saying this, but it's true. You've got to learn to stand up for yourself. Next time, you hit them back. You hear me? An eye for an eye. That's what I've always said. Better still, if you see it coming, you get in there first. Sounds hard, but life's hard. Best to learn that now rather than later, eh? Not another peep. All right. Good boy. See you in the morning. No more tears. Miss out how? I did my bit in the ARP. 
So I got through the physical, I would have got in. You know that. Was that talking about you again at all? Please? Don't you dare! You know I did my bit! Yes, please, you're shouting. Please, please, please. I wasn't saying you didn't do anything. I know perfectly well what you were trying to do. Get me up around again. I won't have it. In my house and all. My house too, Rich. And you should be bloody thankful for it too. I am, Rich. Just calm down, stop it. I worked bloody hard for this family. It's not like you're bringing anything in. The least I ask for is a little respect. Where are you going? I'm his father. I'm the one who decides how to bring up a son. Reg, it's cold now. Where are you going? Out! The pub! Reg, come on! Good night, Pete. Sorry. Nothing. Damn kettle's hot, that's all. Watch out. Hmm. You all right? What's that? Oh, yes. Have you got the tea on? Ah, oh, water's boiling. Hope there's enough. Well, don't worry about me. Just make sure you have what you need. So you don't want any tea? Look, it's fine. Nothing. Are you sure? It doesn't sound like nothing. Come in, Clara. Do you read me? Look, I'm sorry about last night. I... I didn't mean for you to have to sleep on the sofa. Oh. Oh. Don't mention it. It's a... It's a very comfy sofa. Oh, um... I'm glad. I thought you'd be annoyed. the same for us, is it? What What do you mean? I know what, what most of the men at Cambridge are like. They can take home whoever they like and they can tell all their friends about it afterwards. Like, they just get a slap on the back and a well done old chap. For us, it's, it's different. If you don't keep quiet about it like Molly doesn't, then you're a girl with a reputation. All right, look, it's, it's early. I'll get us some breakfast in a bit, shall I? That sounds nice. It didn't have anything to do with you, that's what I mean. Not just me, you mean? All right, I'm generalizing. It's just... I suppose I've had friends at school, um, girlfriends, who play into this whole thing too, the whole parade of it. They couldn't understand my interest in science, hey? I was a bit weird. You're not weird? Well, only in the right ways. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just in an odd frame of mind. I, I thought the work might help keep my head straight. Maybe a, a walk would help you. No, no, I, I like it. I'm enjoying it, really. I want this to be good. That's one thing I definitely got from my father. It's perfectionism for better or worse hard to live up to well it's good to be ambitious and what's this if it's not ambitious speaking of which there's something I noticed show me I've just looked at the latest batch of atmospheric radiation readings so don't worry everything seems to be moving in ways we're expecting it's it's all consistent it's just 
It's just consistently higher, too, compared to the ones we took a few months ago. He's got new equipment, maybe? That would explain why everything's jumped at once. Well, I'll double-check everything again now. It's just something I noticed as I glanced over them. It'll be good for me to focus on something like this anyway. Get my head down. Just take care of yourself. Oh, don't worry about me. Look, why don't you look around? There's plenty of books to read. Oh. Why not? If you're sure. Oh, well, look at this. Oh, that whole thing. Feel free to put something on. Sorry, there's not a lot of choice. We didn't want much music. Is this one all right? Oh, it's wonderful. I love it. You're right. I can't concentrate. Where's that tea? Are you all right? That, 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 my hand. It's hot. I said it was hot. Sorry, I wasn't listening. Hold it up gently. What are you doing? Helping. Putting something on this bandage. What? Honey. Honey? It helps, trust me. Show me your hand. Oh, that was silly of me. There goes the tea. Is there something else, Clara? No, it's... it's silly. Come on, I'm... I'm sure it's not. It's been a long time and I... I should be over it by now. But it's my brother. I dreamt about him last night. I see. You, you thought you might feel odd here, didn't you? Yeah, but it's strange. I, I feel guilty too. You don't need to feel guilty. I've been forgetting him. That, that doesn't make you guilty of anything. And now I'm here again and here he is. And everything I look at. We don't need to stay if it's too difficult. No, I, I'm happy I came. I should have done it sooner. I'm not imposed all this on you. It makes me wonder if I'd be where I am today if he was still around. You know, Cambridge and the whole thing. Does that make me a terrible person? No. No, but I... I don't think I'd follow. You'd have been successful no matter what, wouldn't you? I love my father, you know. Your father? 
What's he got to do with it? I owe him everything. My interest in physics, engineering, maths, everything. He'd take me to all the museums, make little experiments with me in the shed. He was an engineer, you see. But when I was so little, before he could really let me play with anything, my brother got all that attention. And when he died, it all came to me. His passions, they, they all became mine. You're doing great things with them too. Mm, thank you. I just wonder sometimes whether he'd be showing an interest in a girl if my brother hadn't, you know. I just... Would I have just been forgotten? Let me finish your hand here. The worst of it is sometimes I feel... Oh, it's, it's horrible, I can't even see it. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. Sometimes I feel grateful it happened. Otherwise I wouldn't have got this chance. Isn't that awful? No. No, I understand. There. Yeah. I should hold it. Thank you. Here. Do you think you think you could manage to hold on to me? Soviet base. No. No, no, no. Wait, wait, how are you getting this message out then? Have you been captured? No, no, I'm fine, Floyd. I, I, I don't think there's anyone here either. It's freezing, everything was powered down. I, I, I think I just had to restart the generator again. I don't understand. Are we way off course? No, no, it makes no sense. You followed the map, right? I just followed my instincts. But there's another map here. Does it explain anything? Can you see anything that might be the Norwegian base? Yes, I, yes, I can see it. I can see the flag. Ah, oh, well, at least I'm not going crazy. And at least you haven't been attacked yourself. What's the terrain like? Is it a straight shot? It looks like it's between two mountains. On the other side of a bay. There's a ship marked on there, too. Right. Well, if there's a ship, at least that means the base is pretty well supplied. Well, there's something else on the map. Some area shaded out past the mountains. What does that mean? Is it dangerous? I don't know, mate. It could be anything. Floyd, I, I can see if I can find some medicine for you. Bring it back to you. No, 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 Peter. That makes no sense. We'd still be stuck out here. I haven't been able to raise anyone on the radio. Our only hope is for you to find a friendly out there. You need help, Floyd. We don't have any option. Peter, I'll be honest with you. If you come back here now, we might not make it. Do you understand? I don't. It's better, better being there to help you. 
What if I run out of fuel on the way to the Norwegians? So you drive as far as you can and then you get out and walk, Peter. That's insane. If you could see this map, you'd know how insane it was. Look, get it together. This is it. I don't like it any more than you do, but you're a grown man, Peter. If you don't do this, we're both done for. You hear me? We are dead. Peter, you there? I'm here, all right? All right, I'll, I'll go, I'll go. Ah, good man. Good man, you can do it. Now you know where you're going. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm heading for those two mountains, and it's, um, it's the other side of the bay, past that. Right. And did you say there was a ship? Yes, yes, a ship on the other side of the bay. Mountains, bay, ship, say it back to me. Mountains. Bay. Ship. Right you are. I'll save the flares for when you're on your way back, all right? Mate, we'll have a little party. <laughs> yes, we will. Just... Just hang on, all right? I will, mate, I will. I'll try and catch some entertainment on the radio. Some of those beeps, maybe. You heard any of that? Yes. Yes, I can pick it up here, too. No idea what it is. No better way to piss off a stranded pilot, though, I'll tell you that. Good luck, mate. I have to admit, I'm a bit nervous getting into the passenger side. Nervous? Why? I've seen you driving. Charming. You've been spending too much time with Joe, I'd say. Only joshing, old chap. Right. Let's see if we can solve this. Cryptic one this time. Two down, eight letters, begins with U. Builder goes mad during door removal. Unhinged? Ah, now I'm pleased I took the lift with you. U N hinged. You sure you wouldn't be happier in the English department? It's the only reason I buy these things now. Although, there was that one story I wanted to read, can you believe it? About that Molly girl. I haven't heard anything. What story? Oh. No, you've been away in Scotland again, haven't you? Lucky you. The lecturer, Molly Shanahan. Got taken away yesterday on campus. Caused a right stir outside college. Black cars blocking the road. Plain clothes police, or so it looked. <laughs> Photographs here on page two. I know her. Uh, she's the, the, the one that wears the red jacket. Well. I don't know about that. This one could be red. Bit of a giveaway if it was. <laughs> but you know her. She's a friend. Well, uh, a friend of a friend. <clears throat> Good Lord. You're not mixed up in all this, are you? You know politics isn't my thing. Too much writing to do. It says here she's rumoured to have links with the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. <clears throat> Miss Shanahan 
Lecturer at Newhall College, Cambridge, was known to be associated with the CND and other anti-nuclear weapons organisations, all of which have come under suspicion since the marches on Whitehall earlier this year. She has been charged with handling data sensitive to Her Majesty's government and passing that data to contacts in Moscow. I can't believe it. It's going to make the professor jumpy. N not the reason he wanted the university in the papers. <laughs> Questions remain over whether she was working alone and how the university dealing with the fallout. The well, same as usual, I suppose. Just carry on. Molly and Clara were good friends. I hope this won't come back on her. Oh, so Clara's that uh, friend you mentioned then? She is. Yeah. She'll be worried sick. Look, despite all this newspaper talk, it's only questioning. I wouldn't get too worked up about it. I'm not getting worked up. I just don't like the idea of everyone spying on each other, that's all. Well, of course I hate to see it, but you know, nothing to do with us, old chap. You're right. You're right. It'll blow over soon, I'm sure. I wouldn't be so sure. What if this is just the start? All right, then. Let's take another look at this one. Four across, nine letters, begins with T. Oh. This is what I am when you're driving. Rhymes with verified. <sighs> okay. I get the message. Just gonna write that one down. If I should live long enough? No, 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 keep going. No, come on. Oh, please, keep going a bit further, a bit further. No, 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 no! Damn it! state-of-the-art technology. It weighs a ton. Come on. You can do it. I know. It's just what I could cobble together with a meager budget. I just wanted to make sure that if I was carrying the kitchen sink, it was a scientifically useful kitchen sink. I've been meaning to tell you. I, I heard from Molly just before we left. I, I hadn't heard anything since she was arrested. Me neither until now. Well, it's been awful, as you'd expect. Arrested and questioned like that for so long. She sounded a bit shaken. Didn't sound like her at all. So is she, is she still under arrest? Well, that's what she was calling about. She was being released without charge. Oh, well, that's a relief. Well, it's better than her still being locked up, that's for certain, but something was a little off about it. You suspect something's going on? Foul play? Something must be going on, but I can't put my finger on it. She wasn't being very clear. She, was, she wasn't sure if she wants to come back to college. I, I don't know when I'll see her again. Sounds like it's really affected her. Mm. It's just... I hope it doesn't ruin things. Her academic career, everything, you know? S so many people think that where there's smoke, there's fire. It's bloody unfair. You don't know she's not coming back? No, but I know there are people who'd much rather she didn't. I wouldn't like to be in her shoes, that's for sure. This cold war suddenly feels a bit real, doesn't it?
Hello. Hello. <laughs> Shall I send it up? On the count of three. One. Too late. I'll never tire of doing that. Taken all your readings? I've just completed mine for the day. Oh, that was quick. Oh, well, you know me. Re ready for the walk back? Absolutely. Absolutely. Although, there's something I want you to see first. Sounds intriguing. Follow me, you'll see. Fancy we climb. You can make it up there. I can. Can you? Come on. Together we can make it to the top. Here. Put one hand here, it'll help you up. If I can do this as a girl, I can do it again now. Your parents allowed you to climb this. They didn't know. My brother took me. Those readings, Peter. I've been wanting to talk to you about them. Are they consistent with what they've been reporting in South America? They're not as high, but they're high. Oh, oh, your equations still work. It doesn't disprove the model. We can still plot the paths of the air currents. But still, something's not right. Poisoned by pesticides. Beautiful things. A new life, eh? Oh. Wonder if you'll see anything like that again. Wonder where it came from. Where did it come from? I mean, the extra radiation. Where did that come from? Are you sure it's not a quirk of all this new equipment? readings. Oh, come on. Take my hand. There you go. Right. Right. Let's try and work it out. All right. So, what do we know? We know the readings are at their highest down in the Southern Hemisphere. And not as high here, up north. Right. It's being diluted somehow, is my thinking. Uh, mixed in by all the currents. That would make sense. Well, it's, it's heading from the south up to the north. Yes. the air currents. That would prove that's what's happening, that there's this general movement north. 
I think we need to find out where this radiation came from in the first place. We've been running the model forwards all this time, but our starting point has always been South America. I, I could look again at the model, perhaps. Run it differently, you mean? Run it backwards. See where these air currents originate. The radiation has to be coming from somewhere. Somewhere further south. South of the Antarctic Circle, maybe? I don't know. Wh whatever this is, people are going to want to hear about it. I hope so. I think we might be onto something. This is bigger than just clouds, you mean? <laughs> bigger than clouds! Although I know you can't believe such a thing. Oh, I might, given the chance. It might be what this paper is meant to be about. It's a beautiful view. Huh. It would... It would be a beautiful thing. It would be. If you wanted to do it. It would change the whole focus of the paper. You might be needing some help. Would you like to help me with it? Writing it? <laughs> well, of course. It could be that beautiful subject I was talking about. Oh, so now it's yours, is it? <laughs> of course not. Well, it could be ours, though. This beautiful thing. If you wanted it to be. Come here. to those trees down there. If we run... Here it comes. If it hits us, you could take my jacket. Promise me that? Promise you that. Let's go then. This isn't the way back, is it? I know another way around. Don't worry. We'll get less wet. Wait! <laughs> Exciting, isn't yes, it? Yes, but... Slow down! 
I mean the new idea, the paper. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's great. It's great, really. Finally. So much better at night, don't you think? Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> I saw them setting up this afternoon. It was all chaos and scaffolding, but now it's more... Oh, I don't know. Um, exciting, I suppose. Not just all that. This? This. You realise this is a big occasion, don't you? It's the first time you've taken me out, Dr Hamilton. No. <laughs> At night, in public. Not working, not hiding a wee anywhere. We're out courting. <laughs> <laughs> Cuddly toy? Oh, you know me so well. Go on then, boys and their toys. Watch this. Good grief, what are you doing? As you said, <clears throat> courting. Are you now? Ten shots, sir. There you go. Knock down all the cans, the bear's yours. Or more likely yours. I think this one's more for him. Not many men can do what I'm about to do. And you have good aim, do you, my knight in shining armor? Absolutely. <clears throat> Absolutely. Well, I, I, I always thought I'd be good in the army. If only books hadn't gotten in the way. Go on then, prove yourself, army man. Well now, maybe I had you all wrong. really don't need to prove anything. That's it, my lad. Only another five of them. We'll make a soldier of you yet, Pete, my boy. What's he up to, cheeky little bugger, spoiling our game? Go on, see if you can get him. Ah! You missed him. Uh, that's, um, that's enough, I think. What's the matter, Peter? <clears throat> I'm fine. <sighs> Clara?
A mine, a, a radioactive symbol. A mine? God, where the hell are we? Can you see anything else? Floyd, Floyd, I can see the ship at last. <laughs> uh, mountains, bay, ship, like we said. Can you see it? Can you see the Norwegian ship? I can. I, I, I can see it on the far side of the water. And there's a a boat, a small boat on this side. Okay, so that's something. Do you think you can use it to get across? It might just kill me, but what else can I do? Except stay here. Yeah, and that'll kill you too. You don't want to give up this close to the finish line. I'm counting on you. <laughs> We're going to die out here. Peter, please, please listen to me. You know where you are now. This is the last push. You've made it this far. I know you can do it. Hello? Wait, I'll... Uh, I'll go when I'm ready. No, no, no. If you hang around, we've got a problem, mate. There's a, there's a storm coming your way. I know because I'm in the thick of it now. You don't want to get caught out on the water when the weather hits. Look, I know you're tired, Peter. But if you don't get moving now, you'll never cross the water. Who knows when the storm will clear? You've got to leave now. Floyd, I can't. <laughs> you can. You have to. Please, Peter. I don't want to die here. All right. All right. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. I'm ready. Go on, mate. Go. Get out of there. Go on. Peter, good to see you at last. You look well. We were just talking about you, old chap. Here. You got the first round in to celebrate. Celebrate? Heard the paper's going shockingly well at last. <laughs> Don't need to be too shocked. John, your eminent professor mentioned it. I gather you showed him an early copy. Word spreads when something's good, that's all. Never seen the man so delighted. So, <clears throat> I propose a toast. To Peter. To Peter. Stop it. I'll take the compliment, will you, Peter? May this be one foot inside the club. So all in all, I hear it's been a very productive summer. Got everything you wanted in Scotland. It's an inspiring place, yes. Very beautiful. <laughs> oh, she is. She is. What are you talking about? Uh, my hands are clean. I just... Mention Clara. Uh, that was it. Clara, good man, Peter. Like I said, inspiration. Sorry, shouldn't I have said anything? I'd rather it was kept quiet. I, I don't want anyone getting the wrong idea, that's all. Clara's been helping with the readings and... Helping? Well, a bit of note-taking here and there, filing? Uh, that kind of thing. A lot of writing, too. Oh, I thought it was more, you know, assisting them writing. No, no, she's done a lot on it now. Changed the focus of it a little, too. Oh, I see. 
So wouldn't that make it a joint paper? Sam, I think we all know that Peter is the real professor in waiting here. I think he knows better than anyone how much he put into it and who wrote what. Isn't that right, Peter? Of course. And he's well aware his chances of promotion would be considerably lower if he'd only done half the work in collaboration. Of course I'm aware. <laughs> of course. Fine. Collaboration isn't a bad thing. No, I agree. Unless, of course, you're that girl Molly collaborating with the communists. I think the word you're looking for is collusion. Well, didn't work out too well for her either way. Shame, really. I'd have happily colluded with her. Joe. Ah, you're right. You're right. Too complicated. I prefer things with fewer strings attached. Having the KGB and MI5 watching through the curtains, that would really put me off. Oh, Molly didn't deserve all that. I wonder what's happened to her. Well, she hasn't come back for the start of term yet, apparently. Beyond that, who knows? A vanishing lecturer. Someone must know something. You're not worried, are you? You've got no secrets to hide? I just think she was unfairly singled out. It's all water under the bridge. New term, things will have settled down. Fresh start and all that. My thoughts exactly. New term, new students. Speaking of which, what do you think of those two over there? Them? Very nice, I'm sure. Very nice. Hold this, will you? Are well, you leaving us? Don't be so possessive, Peter. What are you, the wife? It's like you said, Sam. Never too late for a fresh start. I meant what I said. Hearty congratulations on the paper. You always had that passion, much more than the rest of us. <laughs> and this sounds like that old conundrum, women or work. Just don't forget your years of struggle. Don't miss this opportunity now. Wouldn't want you missing out on what you deserve. Thank you. Right. I'm off to get what I deserve. Don't wait up, chaps. You're a disgrace, Joe. Absolutely shocking. He keeps doing that, doesn't he? How does he keep doing it and getting away with it? Come on, Pete, pay attention, head in the bloody clouds again, that's your problem. Pick up the oars and row like I told you. They're faster than that, son. Come on, keep them both in time. Doing my best. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. And try and... Keep your weight in the middle, too. You don't want to tip us in. What a wonderful start of the holiday that would be. Do you want to help? No, this is a test of your listening, son. I'm trying to work things out for yourself. How would you learn if I did everything for you, eh? I didn't mean do it all, just take an oar, maybe. Well, say I did, and you could only work one oar. Then where would we be? We'd be going round in circles. <laughs> oh, now, look, there's a strong current coming up. It's a good test, son. Now, remember what I taught you, and this won't be a problem. I keep us straight and true. Strong arms. I said strong. No, 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 no! I'm trying. That side! Harder on the poor side! Help! Jesus, Pete, that one! Give it here! Give it here! God, you get back there, I'll do it. <sighs> I knew you weren't made for this! Maybe you're right.
Come on. And prove you can go the rest of the way. Current's not as strong now. Now here you go. I have done my best, Pete. Whatever you do in life, you can't expect anyone to do things for you. My experience. I won't always be here to help. And there'll come a time when you've got to prove you can do something by yourself. Hamilton? Oh, get me away from this thing. It looks calm out there, but it, it's rougher than you think. Oh, it does look nice and calm, you're right. It's the current. Can't you see it? It's very nasty ripples. It's practically a storm surge. I think if the wind had been in another direction... Oh, come here. Don't you know me at all by now? Come on, let's walk. All right. Thank you. Well, I've got used to being this relaxed. <laughs> What's it going to be like getting back to college, having to smarten ourselves up? I really like you like this. It's nice. Remember when we met on that train, and you're so self-conscious about your tie? Oh, I remember. Seems silly now. You were wearing that lovely sweater you got on now, weren't you? Not this. Well, I only bought it recently. It's a new colour for me. My mistake. My memory must be playing tricks on me. Ah, uh, strange. So, do you want the good news? Absolutely. While you're out, I checked with the hotel and they said we could stay another night. And I thought, why not? Extend this holiday as long as we can. <laughs> Extend the celebration. Celebration? Oh, you know, um, the summer of work. The fact that it's practically all done now and... Perhaps we could celebrate us, too. Us? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Mr. Absolutely Hamilton. Oh, stop it. I don't say it like that. You do, and that's fine. Ready to go home soon? Not in the slightest. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> oh, look at these houses. Oh. If I had found someone I could row with, perhaps I could be living here. Hey, I can row. <laughs> well, that's good, because I think I might be in love. Oh? Me too. Well, those two houses up on the cliff, look. Oh, which one should we have, the red or the blue? It's tricky. Why not both? Oh, go on, pick one. Uh, okay, uh, red. My choice, exactly. Oh, almost like I knew what you were gonna say. Well, either house looks big enough for me. Maybe more than me one day. Family. Well, like I said, one day. What about your work? Wouldn't you want to finish that first? Well, finish work before I settle down, you mean? Yes. Yeah, I love my work. You know I do. I'm not going to finish it. I'm going to keep going as long as I can. I don't see why it has to be one or the other. Would you give up work to have children? I would. I really would. No, well, I think the thing is, I wouldn't expect a man to give it all up. Not if he really loved his work. So why does the rest of the world think that we should give it all up? I keep thinking about all these bright young women I'm teaching and I'm scared. I'm, I'm scared that 
Despite all they've achieved, despite the fact that they're walking out into the world with a degree from Cambridge, the first thing they'll be asked is how fast can you type? You're probably right. It's a real waste of talent. It really is a waste, you're right. Even the jobs they get, they're not expected to keep once they've had children. All it needs is people to stand up to it. No, you're right. I think women have every right to state their claim. Not a woman this time. Women have been making a stand, throwing themselves under horses since the suffragettes. We need men to start fighting for it. You can count on me. I hope you do make a stand. It won't become part of all that. It's not easy, you know. A lot of people are still living in the dark ages about all this. Your professor, for one, I'll bet. I think you're probably right there. He doesn't know about any of this, does he? This... this, this work? Exactly. The work we've done. You will tell him, won't you? Of course I will. I'll go straight to his office as soon as we're back. You promised me that. Promise you that. Good. This is good, isn't it? It is. Marvellous to see you do come in. Take a seat. I have to say, I'm delighted. Oh, you read the final draft? Of course, all the salient points. I must say it's very impressive. You think so? Thank you. Not at all, it's your work. I think the direction you took it gave it something of real value. Well, as I say, quite apart from the climate side of things, the method you developed to track radiation, I can see it having far-reaching implications and not just in your own field. It's marvellous. I'm glad you think so. Yeah, first-rate piece of work, Peter. First-rate. Th this other name on here, Dr. Clara McKirick. I presume we can drop that. Drop it? Why would I do that? Oh, well, um, I understand you probably had some little research assistants, but uh, well, we all have secretaries. <laughs> we, we just don't usually put the name on the front cover of the paper. What are you suggesting? Tell me, have you seen your friend Joseph recently, Samuel? I have. Doing so well in their new positions. I would dearly love to see the same for you, Peter. And more for you, in fact. Well, thank you. You will be so well-deserved after all these years, especially after the risk I took. Risk? A boy from a grammar school, first in his family to make it to university, you know what I'm saying. It's been really wonderful to give you this opportunity. I would just hate you to throw it away by misattributing your own hard work, that's all, for whatever reasons you might have. Throwing it away? What do you mean? I mean, there is a world of possibility out there for you. Hmm. Well, as I say, it really is very good, and I'm not the only one who thinks so. Yeah. <clears throat> You've given it to someone else already. I knew a few who I thought might be interested. I thought you'd be pleased. In fact, I think you might want to prepare yourself for being the center of attention for a little while. I'm sure you would be able to cope, but I think it's perhaps not quite the sort of thing you'd like to foist on a young woman's shoulders. Whatever it is, I'm sure Clara could handle it. 
with this name on here, there is a good chance it will cause problems. I'm sure I could handle them. <laughs> this isn't all about you, I'm afraid. There could be problems for everyone. Clara was close with Molly Shannon, wasn't she? The one suspected of being a communist spy. She wasn't charged. How close they were is the real question. Clara joined Molly on that anti-British protest march, I hear. It was anti-nuclear defense, not anti-British, I believe. Well, you know my thoughts on that. They can be one and the same thing. A lot of people, very important people, believe you are either with this country or against it. Some of the benefactors of this college, for example. My father used to call this university one of the greatest contributions Britain has made to the world. I would agree with that. Wouldn't you? Absolutely. I'd hate to be the one to undermine it. The affair with this Cambridge Four business has been bad enough. <laughs> we can't change the past, Peter. But we can learn from it. Before we fool ourselves into remembering it too kindly. Now with this name on here, and the associations one might make, you see what I'm saying? I see. But I really think her name should stay. Good God, Peter, I am trying to make you understand something. <laughs> this is precisely the way the rod sets in. It's the slow knife. <sighs> Members of this university were recruited to spy for the Soviet Union ten years ago. Now, members of this university are demanding we lay down our weapons. The only defense we have against the very same foreign power. What happens in ten years' time? And what happens to the integrity of this college in ten years? If you share your work on a whim with a girl you've taken a fancy to. And what happens ten years after that? cannot survive by making oneself vulnerable. That is why this university is still here. That is why I am still here. I hope you understand how much I care about your success. It's so common for work to fade into obscurity after it's published. It would be a shame if yours were denied my full-throated support, especially after so many years. I've spent years working on this. I cannot make your decisions for you, Peter. By all means, publish with Clara as a co-author if you're feeling generous, but if you do, you'll have to take your chances. It would be difficult for me to bring to bear any influence I have. By way of illustration, I have an address in Whitehall to give you. Thank you. i afraid I can't tell you much more now, but he's a good man. Cambridge. And you may find there's one more reason to leave Clara out of things. I'm sure things will become clear soon. I think you've made things very clear. Well, let me know what you decide. Just, just knock any time. My door is always open.
smoke. Someone's there. Dr. Hamilton. Peter, how do you do? So good to meet you. How do you do? Excuse me, I won't be a moment. Still three o'clock, yes? Oh no, no need to reschedule. This won't take long. It should be very quick. Right then, please do take a seat. Delighted you could make it to London. I do hope you get the time to enjoy it a little, too, considering how busy you've been recently. Thank you. I'll, uh, I'll try to. Good, do. Anyway, I imagine you're wondering why we asked you here. 
Well, it can't have surprised you that your field of study has been of increasing interest to us, especially since the war. Oh, you're, you're, you're interested in climatology? Oh, of course. The paper is going very well here. Well, it is now, thank you. Oh, yes, your professor, John Hargreaves, passed us a copy. And it's impressive, the amount of information you've managed to gather. Although I imagine the process of gathering it was rather difficult on your limited budget. I, uh, I had some help. Oh, yes, we, uh, we heard about that. As I said, we were most impressed and wanted to make you an offer. Uh, reward, even. Reward? Well, you've no doubt taken your budget to its limits by now. What would you say if I could guarantee you a practically unlimited budget for further study? Ensure you had the best equipment, like the Americans. Take you right to the heart of things. The, the heart of things? I believe you traced the source of the radiation back to Antarctica, didn't you? I did. I'd say that warrants further study on location, wouldn't you? It does. I'm glad you agree. We could place you with the Falkland Islands Dependency Survey working in Antarctica. Scientist bots. Happy amateurs. Very passionate, like yourself. Of course, you'd probably have to sort a few things out with the other name we saw on the paper before you go. I hope that wouldn't be too difficult, considering what's on offer. Uh, the other name, um, the Clara, you mean? Uh, lovely name. Probably for the best. She wouldn't be able to go. Oh, not my say-so, I'm afraid. It's run a bit like the army down there. No women allowed. I, uh, I don't think she'd like the idea. I can assure you this is bigger than any one person. I'm sorry, I'm... I'm not sure what this is yet. I see. Well, you signed those papers on your way in earlier, so I'm at liberty to tell you a little more. Things in the Antarctic, they've been a little strained recently. Lots of vested interests, territorial claims overlapping. Some sides wanting to secure the resources under the ground. Now, this kind of thing has been going on for decades, of course. W what kind of thing? Oh, the Germans were flying over there, dropping swastikas in big circles. Before the war, that is. All a bit ridiculous, really. Now, I'm afraid it's the Soviets we've got to contend with. Bit of a royal mess, if you ask me. Still, we're trying to work with them. That, that sounds like a wise idea. It was wise, or so it seemed. It should all be in everyone's interest, you see. Every country signed up to something called the Antarctic Treaty. All a rather clever bit of politicking that happened behind the scenes a few years ago. Set up to ensure that Antarctica is used for strictly peaceful purposes. No weapons are to be used. No one can make any future claims on the land. Now, if it sticks, everyone will be frightfully happy. Every side content that they've staked their claim. No more aggression, let's say. Sounds sensible. You'd have thought so. We've managed to placate the Soviets so far. This is all strictly confidential, but the sounds coming from Whitehall are not good. We're, we're rather worried that it might all fall through. How worried are you? Worried enough, but there's no immediate cause for alarm. Well, in addition to the climate science you'd be able to do, tracking the radiation in the clouds and so forth, we'd like you to inform us of any other sources of radiation out there, what the readings are. If there are any bombs being set off on the continent, it's important that we know as much as we can about them. We don't know what the Soviets might do next. You'd be using the very best equipment, as I said. Useful for your career. Useful for us. This is still climate science, yes? Absolutely right. The less we're involved, the better, really. But as I say, if you can help us in this small way, it would certainly help that career of yours. How can you help, if you don't mind me asking? Well, after speaking with a few people, Professor Hargreaves, for example, 
I'm sure that whatever your academic ambitions, after working on something as important as this, you'd have no trouble progressing. And if nothing else, think of the adventure of it. What a reward it would be for all your hard work. What do you think? Y you want me to decide now? Oh, not straight away, but time is rather tight. We'd need an answer soon. Sorry, I've got a meeting in Westminster in 20 minutes. We'll have to cut this short. It's been very good to meet you. Do let me know. And if this Clara thing feels like a sticking point, all I can say is sometimes we all have to answer to something greater than ourselves. Why not think of it as an opportunity for you and to do what's right? What's right? I'm sure you understand. Women come and go. This is for your country. Thank you. 
Boys, of course. I mean, I might have enjoyed it if I was a ten-year-old boy, but it was just boys and their toys again. It's just an adventure story. I do all your adventure fantasies involve so much shooting. They're presenting themselves as if they're heroes in instead of the land grabbers they actually were. Think of it as a bit of harmless escapism, that's all. I know what you're about to see, that they were just men testing themselves against the world. But that's important. Who says so? Fine, I'll stop it now. And another thing, where were all the women? I, I counted one, she was a cook. She was a very pretty cook. Are you serious? What, she was? Oh, don't talk to me. I'm only teasing, I... I... Do you see what you mean, really? It's depressing. <laughs> Let's turn the radio on, would you? <clears throat> of course. I'm not getting much. The Prime Minister has urged for calm after news from Washington emerged tonight that the Antarctic Treaty is on the brink of falling through. Neither Britain, the United States, nor Soviet Russia could reach a deal. And, in an increasingly nervous political atmosphere, there is now the risk that there will be no agreement to stop any act of aggression in Antarctica. After pinning the blame firmly on what he called Russia's continuing aggression, the Prime Minister warned that the next steps are far from clear, and that in this climate of mistrust, the world needed to stay vigilant. It remains to be seen who will make the next move. Hey, stop shooting, you mad fool! Oh, oh he's hit the engine! You've hit the engine! What are you what have you done? It's you, mate! Are you out of your mind? Sorry, mate, I thought you were a bloody Russian! Not a bad shot, though. I gotta catch us a gal for our tea! You hit the vehicle! The engine's dead! You satisfied with yourself? 
Never felt better. Took the last of those painkillers and a drop of whiskey sorted me right out. I thought I'd go for a walk. You found whiskey? I had that all along. Save it for special occasions, birthdays, Christmas, crashing in the middle of bloody nowhere. Is the radio on? Ah, yeah, had to get away from those beeps. Better out here. <laughs> Believe me, it's not better out here. Why don't you leave me in peace? Well, let's, let's get you inside. Ah, oh, yeah, good idea. More whiskey. feeling now? Ah, uh, a bit shitty. But better. Yeah, I just, uh, just needed that... that sleep. Mate, ah, uh, that bloody noise on the radio was driving me mad. Do you know there's a, a Russian voice that appears on that channel once in a while? Really? Yeah, sounded urgent, whatever it was. Uh, same phrase over and over. Ah, oh, Jesus, this leg. Do you think the Russians are still out here? Ah, uh, bloody well hope not. Well, I hope someone's here. They don't want us here, you know? Why the hell should they save us, eh? We're all stuck out here. We're in the same boat, aren't we? Whatever you found out there, you weren't supposed to see it. If you think some Soviet's gonna be happy to see you get out of here alive, you've got another thing coming. And personally, if I saw one out here, I'd make sure he didn't make it home either. Before he did the same to me. Alpha Romeo Lima, this is Faraday. Faraday station calling. Are we glad to hear you? Hello? Uh, we picked up a distress call from this frequency. Uh, can you hear me? Over. That's right, we, we need help urgently. You're very faint. Over. Floyd, what's our position? Uh, 82 degrees south, 19 west. We're at 82 degrees south, 19 west. Hello? Hello, can you, t can you tell me what's happening? Why is everywhere deserted? Over. Right. Again, it's too bloody sinister. Turn it off. Ah, oh, well, ain't that a beauty? Rescue? Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, come on, you heard them. They're sending someone out. Oh, I hope so, mate. We're both in line for knighthoods if we make it out, that's for sure. What do you mean? Your government loves to give out honors to failed Antarctic explorers. Otherwise, the whole endeavor would just look nuts. Shackleton, remember him? Marooned most of his men on an island for a year. They were pioneers, surely. Robert Scott, he got the polar medal, didn't even make it home. Heroic failures. <sighs> just like us. Hey, how does Sir Peter Hamilton sound? 
Uh, anyway, that's if we make it out. <sighs> Hope they find us before the food runs out. Well, I found you again, didn't I? Yeah. You did, mate. You did. Which reminds me, how did you find the plane again? Oh, dumb luck. No, 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 come on, seriously. Well, no, it was lucky. Spotting the flares that you sent up. What's that? I never sent up any flares, mate. Sorry? No, the flare box was empty. Not been checked in years, my guess. Bloody panicked me for a while. I saw them with my own eyes. How else do you think I got back to you? Search me. Why don't you take a look out? You see anything? It's too hazy. Wait. There it is. That's not far away. So there is something else out here. Do you think they're friendly? Chances are no. We're gonna need more food soon. What are you doing? This is from World War One. What do you believe? Don't mess with that thing again. You've done enough damage. Here. One bullet left. I don't want it. We know there's something going on. We don't know who that could be out there. All I'm saying is, be on your guard. I'm not shooting anyone. Just raise it up when you approach. That's all. Make sure you're the one in charge. If in doubt, make sure you're the one that fires first. There's only one bullet. Just the one. <laughs> you better hope there aren't two of them. So, you gonna wait around here all day then? I'll be back soon. Oh, whiskey, mate. I'll be happy as Larry. And I've got this. So, just keep that gun raised. You'll be fine. Make sure you don't get that knighthood posthumously. very cold. You? <laughs> Me too. You are right. Peter, marvelous to see you. You've come at the right time. England are 37 for four. 
terrible state of affairs. Anyway, you said you wanted to see me about something, please. Something you wanted to let me know. There is. All right. Well, have you come to a decision? Clara and I, we, we're too close now. I can't take her off. I must say, I admire you. It takes conviction to stand by a principle like that. As I've always said, your decision. You will be fine. To him. Maybe I saved his life. What an hour. Now? What, till your band of merry men turn up? We need to leave. Can this plane fly? What? Are you the pilot? Can this plane fly? Peter! Peter, what's going on? Why do you bring this damn Soviet agent in here? I nearly killed him. We need to leave. You can bloody leave. The British are coming for coming. us. No, no. They're coming, all right. It's not for you. No, no, nobody is coming. You can think what you like. We're staying put, and you, my friend, can get the hell out. I tell you, there's nobody else out there now. We need to move. Oh, who the hell are you? What are you doing? I'm telling you to piss off you and however many comrades you have out there. You do not know what is at stake. You do not know anything. We will die here. We need to... Please! We do not have time for this. Now, now. Can, can this plane fly? It doesn't matter. We just need to wait till our guys arrive. What is it? Uh, is it the engine? We don't need to fly out. If it is the engine, maybe I can fix. How the hell did you get here in the first place? You must already have transport. He's got a vehicle. Yeah, I had one. No fuel. No fuel? Well, what happened out there? I... I didn't need to shoot anybody. The man is right. And not feeling very well, I think. Yeah, what's this about a vehicle? I told you, the vehicle is dead. But you have one. I saw it outside. Will it move? <sighs> this man put a bullet through the engine. He's dead. He likes his weapons too much, I see. Here. Give it. So, we need to fly or we die here. Die here? What's going on out there? Your friends, are they running from something? They are an explosion. They are dropping a nuclear bomb. No, no, you're wrong. Soon. You have radio? You have heard countdown? Beep, beep like Sputnik? That's, that's a countdown. It's just a radiation warning. It is countdown. We do not have long. You, you have heard it getting faster, yes? Yeah, Peter, it was on that frequency when I switched it off. See if you can get it. It is getting faster all the time. The faster it gets, the less time we have. We need to leave. No, they're coming. They said they'd keep broadcasting, so we knew they were on their way. And are they? Peter, turn the dial. Can you hear anything? Uh, hold on. What's going on? There's nothing there. Christ almighty. I am engineer. Maybe I could fix the aircraft if you would tell me what is wrong. Do we just need to pull it out of the snow? Is there damage? Uh, no, no, it's, it's in good shape. I saved the plane, but uh, it's more complicated. Frozen carburetor, that's my guess. You have lighter? Something to heat it? Wait. Uh, uh, yeah. 
something I can fix. Can I help? No, don't worry. If I am careful, it will be enough. Then we're all right. We're saved. Maybe. Maybe we are all saved. Jesus! What is happening? Saved by a Soviet! No, it's all right. We're gonna be all right. It doesn't matter where he's from. He might be the only man within a, a, a thousand miles who can fix this aircraft. <laughs> lucky we found him. Yeah, lucky you couldn't shoot straight. He's, yes! Well, what is it now? You say you land the plane well, but there's a hole underneath. In the fuel tank. No, no, no. You said you saved the plane. Oh, I saved us, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I, I, I can close it up, but that is not the problem. There's no fuel. Can you check again? There is nothing. Oh, Christ. Is there anyone else we can radio? There would be no point. They are all gone. We're screwed, then. Yeah, un unless uh, there is fuel in the wing tanks. Maybe? Not this time. Flying light. Then we are, as you say, screwed. use of that lighter. Not your usual brand, I would guess. No. Thank you. Seeing as we're all doomed, might as well be mates. Ah. Take it, you don't have any out there anymore. No. Why were you alone? I was uh, following everyone as we evacuated. Uh, in the storm, we could not see each other. My vehicle ran out of fuel. I was behind them. They did not see me stop. And maybe they reached the coast before they even realized. They just left you there. I was desperate. I prayed for them to come back, but uh, I knew they wouldn't. The snow covered our tracks, and uh, they had their orders. They wanted to survive. Yeah, they would have been crazy to come back. <laughs> I can't believe it. Well, you have not been so lucky, too. Storm got us both, eh? Well, your English is very good. I take it you're not a spy. This would be very bad spying. <laughs> no, I am engineer. And a translator, too, sometimes. I, I could help translate British and American radio traffic. That makes me think. What were you doing here? All right. In this new spirit of international cooperation, you, you might as well know it. I was asked to take this gentleman out to the big British science base down south. He was supposed to be studying there, that right, Peter? Climate science, the, the clouds. Yeah, that's what we told everyone, too. What do you mean, told everyone? No, officially. Unofficially, it uh, was a little more than that. You were... Studying something else? We were studying you. I am surprised you did not know. You have been studying us. No, no. I was going to study radiation in the clouds. Climate science, yes. Damn, it's all. Maybe it is you who are a spice. Yeah, but it seems you don't know all our secrets just yet. I saw the mine. You? You made it that far? I did. So, you, you saw the base where we lived? Hmm. 
It must have been awful there. No, oh, we packed everything up in the big trucks before they left. You, you don't think we really live like that? You, you must have thought we were animals. No. No, I didn't think you were. Well, who says you're not? Oh, he's being funny. He's getting drunk. Well, there's not much reason to lay off it now. So what were the rest of you doing out there? We uh, monitored that mine, checked for leaks, monitored for radiation levels. But we monitored other things, too. Other mines? Not that, no. Your bomb tests? No. Your bomb tests. Our bomb tests? Yours. No, the British don't test out here. The Antarctic Treaty prevents them. It should prevent the Americans, too. But this does not stop them. Oh, it's interesting what they have told you. Did they tell you to study our bombs? Uh, well, <clears throat> they did say there might be the possibility the Soviets were using them, but... Did they tell you you would really be studying your own? Are you suggesting they lied to me? I don't know what they said, but our government... They lied to us. Well, my government wouldn't. Yeah, what... Whatever you think, we know British bombs have been getting too close. Shock waves from one caused the landslide, killed two men. The, the Norwegian base? Yeah, I believe so. We don't test here, seems you do. And each time your bombs uh, go, they, they, they make more places unusable, like the mine. Are you saying that's a, a British bomb that's going to go off? No. This bomb is Russian, and it will be dropped right over the mine. What? Wait, wait. You destroy your own mine? Yes, the mine is old. They can leave it. But they, they want to destroy it, to uh, keep it a secret. That's insane. Maybe they, they think it is better this way. Better than everyone discovering what they've been up to? Stockpiling uranium, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose so. Surely there'd be some kind of retaliation. Uh, maybe they think uh, they can just say it, it, it is a jest. Ah, it sounds bloody risky. The British and the Americans would expose it, surely. What, and risk uh, revealing that they have been breaching the treaty too? They are just as guilty. Ah, it's all just flag-waving. Bullshit, I don't care for it. I'm trying to stay clear of that stuff since the war. Still caught up with me. I also do not care about taking sides. I am tired of their secrets. I just want you to get home. We all want you to go home. Oh, we are all the same. Why oh, not? Is there's a plane with a bomb on it? And that is what the countdown means. And we're stuck in the middle of it all. Yes. Can't believe there's no fuel. No fuel. In no escape. Getting worse. He's keeping a stiff upper lip about it. I do not understand it. I don't worry, a British thing. <laughs> I did not think uh, my final cigarette would be British. Yeah. Might as well go the whole hog. Not like I'm keeping it for later. Maybe not in your condition. I don't think he can hear me.
When it comes, uh, what do we say? Uh, flash of light? It'll be quick, right? I hope so. Uh, that is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I wonder where it came from. <sighs> Bottom of the barrel, maybe. <sighs> oh. Ah, oh, he's coming round. Thought you, you were completely out of it. You said you wonder where it came from. What? Something about barrels. Ah, yeah. So you did hear us. Yes. Yes, mate, I was talking about barrels. Don't worry yourself. Unless you've seen some barrels full of fuel for this aircraft. I... I've seen barrels. I've seen... What's that? Barrels? What kind? What... what? What color do you paint your aircraft fuel belts? Uh, 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 red, red, red with a, a white stripe. Yeah, I, I've seen them, lots of them. Where? Uh, the British base, that way. What, you little beauty? Why, why didn't you say? I, 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 I didn't know. I, I didn't know they were for aircraft. How far is the base? I, uh, uh, it's not that far. It's, uh, it's walkable. No, we need one. Someone needs to go. To right. Yeah, th there's only one who can go. What? No, no, he's in no fit state. No, he's fitter than you. You cannot walk. You could go. I have to fix the engine. We may already be too late. Come. We need rope. Hey, wh wh where are you going? We we need to pull the aircraft out of snow first. Do we Come. have the time now? Do we have the choice now? Uh, you, you be careful with my baby. Don't mess up her tail. You count two, three. We pull together after. I'm barricading for you guys. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. That's the bloody stuff! Top work! Good job! You give me that. What? We need your sober, you fool! Hey, that's for my leg, mate. I need that! You need to show me engine. And you, we need fuel now. You know which way to go. Towards that red light. So it's weather coming in. It, it can come in very fast. You need to be quick. You can do this. We need you to do this. Please. I can do it. We will die if you can't. I, I need to fix engine. If I finish, I come. But you, you are on your own now. Please. Go! Go! Come on. Up.
You lied. Get away from me. Clara, wait. Not now. Clara, come back. It could have been so good, Peter. Well, wait, it, it is good. It's getting published. I'm not talking about the bloody paper, Peter. Christ, us! Well, we, we are good, aren't we? Well, you might be, but I'm not sure I know what's going through your mind anymore. After everything we've done, after you promised, promise you that. Promise you that? What? Oh! Clara! Don't you worry about me, Peter. I'll be fine. Going to see your professor, were you? Oh, I'm more I, I me. did go. I should have known you'd always back your little boys' club over me. You had no intention of telling him how much I've done. No, no, I, I told him. The word gets out, Peter. I didn't think it at the start, but you're just like the rest of them. You, of all people. Still, that's my fault, I suppose. Fault? No, no, nobody's a fault. I thought you were different. Not introducing yourself as Doctor This or Doctor That when we met. Wait, no, no, I introduced myself as Doctor Hamilton, but that doesn't matter. Did you? Oh, and I suppose you didn't run away from my lecture that time. Didn't let me go on that march all by myself. Don't like two sugars in your bloody tea. It's like when we were talking about living in that blue house by the sea. What was so frightening about that? Why the sudden panic? I, I, I didn't panic. We had a discussion. I don't remember one. Anyway, no, no, you're the one who's wrong. It was the red house, not the blue one. <laughs> your memory, Peter! I can't even thinking straight. Yes. <sighs> I know what happened. I was there. Perhaps you were miles away again. Are you even here now? Yes. Here, yes, absolutely. Peter! Were you ever here? I'm here now! I'm here. Not to be fooled by this any longer. Do you actually believe yourself? I... I... I, I don't know. You betrayed me. I'm not forgiving that. I can bloody well promise you that. Peter, marvellous to see you. You've come at the right time. England are 37 for four. Terrible state of affairs. Anyway, you said you wanted to see me about something, please. Something you wanted to let me know. Clara did half the work. She's owed the credit for it. Stay straight. Stay straight. 
and true. <laughs> Straight and true. <laughs> come. Together, come. There is no time. Wait. It could be ours, though. This beautiful thing. If you wanted it to be. Come here. the way back, is it? I know another way around. Don't worry. We'll get less wet. Wait! 